Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I decided to do a daily vibes with the uh, Romance Angel cards. Let's see what happens. I'm only going to do a few cards. This is for all signs. We're going to see what happens. This is just, I don't know where this came from. I just decided to do it. Um, this is for uh, June 19th, 20th, and 21st. So the 19th through the 21st for all signs in love. I don't know who this is for, but for some reason I am called to do this. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get three cards. Past, present, and future. Romance angels. All signs. Love. What do we need to know? Past, present, and future. For the 19th, 20th, and 21st. Past, present, future, son of a gun. That's beautiful. I don't know what, how this, why this happened. I was literally called to do this. I don't know. It just came to me out of the blue right now as I was sitting here. So um, somebody needs to see this. Uh, maybe it's me. Maybe it's you. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. This is the past. Something has ended. Because the chemistry died. The attraction died. Present. Right now, you're calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. It's happening. It's happening. Soulmate. Future. Yes, this is your soulmate. Something ended for a reason. Now you're calling in the right one, and they are right around the corner. Have faith. They're coming. They're coming. If something didn't work out, it didn't work out for a reason. Keep manifesting. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. This is your soulmate. So this is what I have. This is for love. The 19th, the 20th, and the 21st. Should I get some more cards? What do you think? I could get some, some tarot cards and add them to this. This is like a spur of the moment thing. I don't even know how this happened. You know, I listen. I listen sometimes. Um, and I think we'll get some clarifiers. What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know? Past. Past. Yeah, you freed yourself from a situation that wasn't meant to be. Liberation. I feel good. I feel good. Because I know what I, I deserve. I deserve love. I'm looking for a new opportunity. I'm looking for real love. Real love. The real deal. In the past, there was unrequited love. You freed yourself in the search for true love. Present. Present. Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together.
presently, I it appears to me that like you are refusing to see a new approach with this unrequited love, refusing. going through a period of withdrawal, detachment, you may be feeling a little cold as you call in this soulmate right now. Refusing to see a new approach in regards to the past. Detaching yourself while calling in your soulmate. Future. Yeah, you're ready. You're you're about to have a fresh start. Woo! It feels as though <laughs> in the future, you know, there is going to be some sort of event or happening that may bring you together with this soulmate in the future. There could be some sort of happening that that starts you off on this new journey with whoever your soulmate is you have a new beginning here a new journey right in front of you and it appears that you're going to have to take a risk with this person So it feels to me like there's going to be some sort of disruption in your life that brings this person in. This person is going to come in through some sort of disruption in the future. I feel like this person is very free-spirited. They don't have a lot of baggage. This person, this soulmate, doesn't have a lot of baggage that they're still carrying with them. It's not that they don't have baggage. It's that they've let it go. They're not bringing it with them. They're not. This soulmate in the future that is coming in. But you're going to meet him. You're going to meet him because of some sort of upheaval. You know, some sort of event that brings you two together. That's how you're going to meet this person. I see a new beginning here that is, is going to be very, very free-spirited. It's going to be joyful. It's going to be exciting. Okay. But I feel like right now, you are probably detached while you are calling this person in. I feel like this could happen quick. This could happen quick. I feel like this is, I mean, this is for the 19th, 20th, and the 21st. I mean, this could happen quick. I feel like this is a fast-moving energy. I just do. I feel like in the, you freed yourself finally, truly, from, from somebody that didn't love you. Or you didn't love them. It's for you're free. You've removed it. You're no longer tied to them. You've made the decision to to just be done with it. Therefore, to wait for the true love. I want true love. That wasn't true love. And I'm looking for true love. You make that decision. You start calling them in. You're reluctant to, to look backwards. I'm reluctant to see any anything um, new coming out of that past love. 
you know, I know that wasn't love, and that's what it is. It's like, I know that wasn't love, so I'm going to sit back, and I'm going to wait for the right one. You sit back, you wait for the right one, you think about well, this right one, when this right one is going to come. You don't, you don't stay stuck in the past. These are for the people that have done that. You decide that you are going to take a risk. You are going to have start a new journey, and this new one comes in, and I think it comes in like lightning. It comes in very, very quickly out of the blue. I feel like this person is going to come into your, to your life just like lightning. And, um, you know, it could happen this week, could happen whenever, but I feel as though, you know, there is an opportunity to, to meet your soulmate in the very, very, very near future. For those of you that have freed yourself from the, from the turmoil of this unrequited love, if you freed yourself from the turmoil of this unrequited love, unrequited love, if you're feeling liberated, if you're feeling happy, if you're feeling self-love. For those of you that are feeling that self-love, you know what you're worth. You are now calling in your soulmate. No longer looking back at this. No longer wanting this. No longer wanting this this unrequited love situation. For those of you that are no longer want that, you are truly calling in your soulmate. And your soulmate is coming, and I think your soulmate is coming quick, soon, like lightning. So anyway, that's what I have. Talk to you later.